Hey guys, so I'm about to eat some breakfast and so for breakfast what I really like to have in Singapore is some soft boiled eggs and some kaya toast um, and I also usually have this with some like ice milo this is just like a usual breakfast I would have here so the eggs may look a bit weird because it kind of looks like small but you have it with some like dark soy and pepper and it tastes really good <laughs> and so for the toast um, there's a layer of kaya jam which is essentially coconut milk, sugar and egg so now that the food's here I'm gonna start eating So currently we're at Tiong Maru Market and this is a hawker center which I haven't actually been to before um, but I've heard really good things about it. So now it's lunch time and I'm having two of my favorite things to eat and I'm being a bit greedy. So the first thing I'm eating is Hokkien Mee which is like a mixture of egg noodles, rice noodles, uh, pork, prawns and the sort of gravy that comes when you just stir fry everything. Uh, and it's also served with lime and this chili sauce called sambal. And I'm also having bak chor mee which is uh, pork, noodles, and this sort of sauce which is a mixture of ketchup and chili sauce. Now, these are two things which I love to eat growing up. The interesting thing about Walker Centers is that I feel like a lot of tourists might be intimidated by how I guess, intimate and open uh, these places are. So if you're ever visiting Singapore, um, don't be afraid to try come out to the more local places. Obviously they have like these uh, centers, like these these hawker centers in malls as well, but I don't feel like they're as authentic as, as these places are. So I'm currently walking along Orchard Road, one of the main shopping areas in Singapore, and it's super, super hot. So one of the best ways to cool off is to actually get some ice cream. And so if you walk along the road, you'll notice that there are loads of these little ice cream carts which are just scattered across, and so I'm off to go find one now. The ice cream itself is essentially served or cut up as uh, little bricks or blocks, served with like wafer biscuits or this sort of rainbow looking bread. And I'd say the best thing about this ice cream is the price. So I think if I remember correctly, when I was a child growing up, it was about one Singapore dollar. Maybe now it's like 150 or something, but even still, at that price, you know, you're not going to expect like something like Ben & Jerry's or something, but it's still really good for, I guess, what it is. So this is the ice cream itself, it's really simple, it's just a block of like chocolate ice cream with wafer biscuit. But it's still really good and it brings back a lot of good memories. We're currently at one of my favorite seafood restaurants in the whole world. And uh, seafood is obviously a really big thing in Singapore. Uh, two of the most popular dishes are black pepper crab and chili crab. Um, my personal favorite is black pepper crab, just because I don't really like something that's too spicy. The challenging part about eating crab is there's a lot of work, work to crack through all the shells and there's not actually that much meat behind it. So without further ado, let's dig in. Alright, what's up guys? So it's supper time now and we're still pretty hungry so we're at Lao Basa and we're getting some more food. So this place is really good, satay and carrot cake, stingray, and grilled prawns. The food here is really good and to start us all off we have some lime juice. It's really refreshing with everything that we're going to get. Currently we're in the indoor part of the hawker center and the really cool thing about this place is if you go outside you can actually see the hawkers grilling the satays on the fire which is something that you don't usually see in most places. So a lot of the food has come, so I'm going to stop talking and start eating. <laughs> 